this is Mr. Chabry, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Go Pikachu. We are here in Cinnabar Island. Of course, this is the Pokemon Mansion, and you're going to have to go through here um, in order to unlock Blaine's Gym. Um, and there's actually going to be some Pokemon you can find in the mansion. Let's actually go in there. Um, the Pokemon that you can find in here are Ditto, Magmar, Rattata, Eradicate, Muck, and Grimer. Um, I do think you might find some, some, um, coughings if you're playing the other version. I'm not totally sure, though. Um, I only have the information for Pikachu, but I do think maybe, I don't know. We'll go ahead and look in here. I do know, um, Muck and Grimer are in here. And this is also where you get yourself Ditto if you're looking for a Ditto. Um, so let's go ahead and walk through here. Um, there's a Grimer right there. Um, basically a burnt out mansion. Um, pretty barren at the moment. You can go around and... Basically, um, trainers in here to fight too. And I'm actually going to put Titan up front. And I actually did give these last two Pokemon nicknames. Um, so Catherine, um, this is actually in reference to a, a show that Jesse is obsessed with. Um, Gengar is basically, um, a doppelganger. That's what the, like, where they get the name Gengar. Um, and there's a character in a certain show that Jesse loves named Catherine that's actually a doppelganger. And we're going to name Aerodactyl Maverick. Oh, yeah. But anyway, this is where you're going to go, um, in here. Grab some of these items. You can actually punch these. Oh, there's a Magmar. Magmar is actually pretty nice if you're looking for one of those. Um, trying to remember. I want to make sure I get everything that is here. Because I don't want to have to come back in here. Later on. But. Go ahead. And, there, I think the thing that opens over here actually. We got ourselves a Max Lure. There's that Muck. Muck's actually pretty cool. Um, Magmar. Um, like I said in a pre the previous episode, we're going to try to refrain from catching Pokemon because I don't want to over level myself. That's actually what's kind of happened um, when I went off screen to catch stuff kind of over leveled a little bit too much we're up here on the second floor I know there's a trainer in here you can battle first I want to grab this though yeah you can go ahead and battle this guy no not you Blastoise this guy and I think a lot there's a few trainers in here I think most of them use fire types though and yeah, he's got a Rapidash he's, he's got some good mine He's got himself a pretty interesting one. But that shouldn't be a problem. Blastoise is here. Um, we're just going to go ahead and scald this thing. Good Titan. And Titan, um, his nickname's actually a reference to the Blastoise I used in my yellow playthrough. That was like forever ago, though. I think that might have been 2013, actually, when I did that. Like, early Mr. Chabry stuff. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead. That door is blocked there. I do notice that they actually put a ladder there. Can't go to it, though. That's something that's a little bit different. I'm going to try to get around this rat. I don't want to... Go up, or... I want to make sure I get everything on each floor before I ascend. Well, hello. Battle this person. Um... I wonder what TM you could get from here. Maybe Flamethrower, if I had to make a guess? 
Probably not, since this person sent out a Graveler. Yeah, um, it'd have to be something Graveler would be able to use. What if this is where we get Earthquake? I would be so totally for that. Oh, whatever it is, it looks like it might be a ground type move if it's a TM. I want to see what Ice Beam looks like. It is Earthquake. Ah, I love Earthquake. That's like one of the best moves in the game. That is nice. I love, love Earthquake. Polyrath. I'm going to go ahead and send out Sophia. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll just go ahead and zip zap this thing. That should just take it out, right? Yes, it will. And Pikachu is so powerful in this. Alright. We defeated Coach Trainer. Um, I do think maybe we get Earthquake from her. We get Rock Slide. Not as good as Earthquake. What a jerk. Alright. That's okay, though. Much rather have Earthquake. Alright, Max Survive. You can read the diaries. What the diaries do is basically tell you about Mewtwo. Um, this is actually where Mewtwo was created. I'm gonna go around here, actually. You can touch um, the statue to change what doors are open. What I want to do is go up here. I already went up there. Go down here now. Got an escape rope. And there are certain floors that are like falling through on here. I think. Go through here. Is there anything over here? Power point up. That's nice. Not that way. That guy, uh, Grimer, is going to be in my way, I can tell. Luck just appeared. Okay. Alright. See here. Is there... Is that all of it? Um up here now. Uh, I've got to remember there's stairs up there too, so I don't know which one is the correct way. Actually, I'm going to actually send Air have Maverick up front for a little bit maybe. Alright, we'll do Maverick. What do, you, what do you got? Magmar. So yeah, this guy's going to have, these guys are going to have fire types here. The burglars are fire types. Maverick should be able to take it out with a rock slide. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Fly. Boom. So nice. Um, now we're just going to have to do the same thing to the muck. Actually, I'm going to switch for muck, maybe. Let me think. Um, just stay in. Uh, I would rather have Earthquake than Crunch, I think. I mean, honestly, Crunch is good for Psychic types, but I do have a little Impersion. But I do not really need Crunch that much. I'd much rather have Earthquake. Yeah, that's what I would rather have. I'm gonna go ahead, finish off the Muck. Rock Slide's a move that does have, like, a unfortunate accuracy. So there might be some times we miss with that. But hopefully, 
hopefully we don't miss too much that it aggravates us. Um, got a rare candy. Yeah, this right here is just a dead end too. So we'll actually go around. Does it reset? Oh, come on, primer. I don't need a Grimer. I'd rather have a Lowland Grimer. Um, but anyway, so it doesn't reset. So we'll go ahead and flip the switch. The good thing about this is, like, the actual Pokemon being in the overworld is you can just easily avoid them. But yeah, here we go. Going up the stairs. All right. Come on. There's like a grimer there in that one spot I needed to go. Foul play. That's actually a nice move. Um, it's a dark type move that does damage based on your opponent's attack stat. So I think we have to move the grimer out of the way. If there is a Pokemon in your way, just encounter it and run away. It'll go. It won't be there anymore. So let me look around before I hit the switch so I can actually see what's going to happen. So let's just... Let's just go and switch those two. See? Okay. That's the ladder. I didn't actually mean to go to it yet. Go ahead and grab this. But yeah, this is something that is different than Pokemon Yellow. Um, they've actually got a ladder here, whereas in Pokemon Yellow, there is no ladder. You just jump down a hole, and there's actually two holes. You have to hope that you pick the right one. If you don't, you end up basically back out in the first floor. Here, anywhere, anyway, there's a Weezing. Um, Weezing might take a hit, actually, so I'm going to Rock Slide. We might get the flinch. And then after that, just another rock slide looks like it'll do. Alright. There we go. Oh, what? No! He lived! I guess I guess it was like a roll. Got a high roll first time. I'm just going to crunch. We're just going to crunch here. All right, let me switch, actually. There we go. We're just flamethrowing this thing. Alright, nice. Alright, Magmar, um, we'll actually go into Titan. Alright, Magmar. We're just going to Scald Magmar. No reason not to. Okay, is there... Yeah, so there's stairs over here. Ah! The muck appeared right in the doorway. Muck is actually a pretty bulky Pokemon. If you're needing a bulkier poison type, um, a Lolan muck, however, is so much better than a Kanto muck. I would say use a Lolan muck, but 
if you're like wanting to just try out this muck, go ahead, try it out. Just, yeah, it is a bulkier mine. Got good special defense and good HP. Um, battle this guy. And then we'll go back up and go back down the ladder. Because that's actually where we need to go. Ace Trainer Luis. He's got a Kingler, so... Who did, who, who did I have up front? I still have Maverick up front. Mm, I have to switch. Um, Kingler has really good defense. So we'll actually go into Sophia. And it actually has really good attack as well, so... I don't want to let Maverick take a Crab Hammer. And here comes the Crab Hammer. That still does a lot, um, but... We should be able to take it out with Zippy Zap, I think. You know, our Pikachu's really powerful. Okay, nice. Mmm, some crab meat. Alright, Primate. Um, now I can go back into Maverick here. I'm, go I'm just going to go for Fly. Go ahead, fly. What was, he, what was this primate going to do? It's trying to outrage. I don't think that's that big of a problem. Nice. All right. Okay, let's go ahead. Go back up. Go down the ladder. Yeah, but that, that's cool that they've changed it. They added a ladder. So that way you can go down, go back up. You have. I'll put Doug up here. I don't know what Pokemon this guy has. I'm thinking... Maybe electric. If I had to make a, a, a specific guess, I'm thinking magneton. Just because a lot of these science guys have. Alright, so electrode instead. I'm okay with this, though. This is the worst matchup. And once I get earthquake, I'd actually put earthquake on Doug. Earthquake's a lot better than Crunch. Another Thunderbolt. Yeah, the thing about Electrode is it's so fast. Um, there's not much that actually outspeeds Electrode. Okay, there we go. Now it's muck. I really need a ground type move. I really do. The good thing is all my Pokemon are pretty much near the same level now. Okay, so let's go ahead and rock slide. Want to minimize? What a jerk! I'm gonna still go rock slide. Watch this. I'm gonna take him out with another rock slide. Yeah, your minimize did nothing, Muck. There we go. Nice. Okay. Alright, so let's continue down this way. Item right here. I want that. A Firestone. Nice. Firestone's really nice. We could go in there, but I want to look see what's over here first. There's a kid here. A teleporter. Oh, so that just takes you back to the entrance. Um... 
So we're not going to go to that yet. So here is like, I think this is like the basement. This is basically the basement. Um. Ooh, sludge bomb. Um. I, I do have sludge bomb on my Catherine, so it doesn't doesn't matter to me. Um. I don't have sludge bomb. Ooh, sludge bomb would be really good, actually. Let's go ahead and give it sludge bomb. Get rid of Psychic. I think Sludge Bomb is better than, you know, having Psychic on it because Sludge Bomb does have Stab. Um, it's really nice to be able to take advantage of both Stab types. Aw, oh, crap. To do something. Oh, I'll go around him. I just want to grab this first. Then we can battle that one guy. I'm going to go ahead and put Catherine up front. I want to try out that Sludge Bomb. That's what I want to do. Alright. Okay, so we'll go ahead and battle this guy. I think this might be one of the last guys in this place. Yeah, so let's go ahead and... Sludge Bomb. I might actually switch out Thunderbolts on this. I mean, think about it. I've got an Electric type. Or I could get rid of Dark Pulse. Because honestly, Dark Pulse basically do covers the same things that Shadow Ball does. But I think I would rather have Psychic. That gives me an option against Poison types, you know? I'm going to have to have something for Poison types because of Agatha. Agatha has a lot of Poison types. Even though she's the, known as the Ghost Type Trainer... She uses poison types, and Zack is playing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Be playing Smash Bros. Ultimate soon. Go ahead and get rid of this last coughing. Dang. I do think um, having Psychic will be better than Dark Pulse, though. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and do that while I'm thinking about it. We have to start thinking about type coverage for the Elite Four, because we're here in, basically in the end game. That's Psychic. Where is it? There it is. Go ahead and get rid of Dark Pulse. There we go. Who learns Tri Attack? Dazzling Gleam would be nice, actually, on Catherine. Actually, you know, yeah, it it will. Um, I don't need Thunderbolt. I've got an Electric type. That gives me something for Dark types and um, Dragon types. All right, nice. Go ahead. Up front. I need Doug to level up a little bit more. There we go. Dang it, you stupid rat. There is a ditto over there. 
Ditto is pretty cool. I do like Ditto. Not the best Pokemon, however. I wonder if you can... You can heal yourself here, guys. Keep that in mind once you get here. So you don't have to go all the way back out. Now, this guy's probably got electric types. Just Flare Blitz. I should put Flare Blitz where Flamethrower is. There you go, nice. Okay. Um, that's closed off. Let's switch. Go ahead and switch that here. Yeah, so honestly, this isn't that hard. It's not that much of a maze. You know, it's just going to a certain spot. Ooh, look. Oh, man. This is where they created Mewtwo. Ha ha ha. Mewtwo. This is a change. Or it was just, you know. Well, that's where you. That's where they created Mewtwo, guys. What a. What a jerk. Uh, put a frickin' door there. So, yeah, what we do is just. Exit now. We've got the secret key. That's what you need to get into the gym. I think that one guy's over here. Yep, there's that kid. So we just step in here and we exit the building. There we go. Nice. So that wasn't too difficult there. I'm going to go ahead and heal up. Um, basically, top off the health of all my Pokemon. But next time, we're going to go into the Cinnabar City Gym. We're going to take on Blaine. So, if you're ready for that, put a like down there. Leave in the comment um, what team, what Pokemon are on your team right now. Um, at this point, you should be basically having your final team. So, you should have um, an idea of what Pokemon you're going to take to the Elite Four. My team is, of course, the Pokemon I've currently got with me. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show it. This is going to be the team I take to the Elite Four. So, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Next time we're taking on Blaine. I'll see you there.